So I'm not going to lie to you, I'm excited right now. I think this is where it starts getting really fun to write the code because we are going to now take the console application, all the data we show in the console application, and we're going to remove that, the console application, get that out of the way, and instead we're going to share the data with the world, right? We want to share it using something called the REST API, and then we're going to use that to provide an access point for the internet to our data, to our backend data right here. That's the goal. We're going to create this access point during this series that can go through our layers all the way down to the database, go all the way back and then present the data to whoever wants my data, right? And right now it's a pretty simple solution. It's just a customer or maybe just a video, whatever you built, your domain, your, your choice, whatever you made inside your domain. But we are going to actually make this domain bigger now. We're going to start adding more tables. We're going to start adding more entities. We're going to start adding more services, more repositories. We're going to extend the application and all of that data, we're going to send that out to the wire to whoever wants it. All they need is an access point and that is our internet address. So let me try and show you what I mean by that. If you have it, um, for instance, if you go into Angular IO like this or any other page, what you're doing is actually using something called the HTTP protocol and you're actually making a request. You're asking for some information. I'll show you all of this, but you're asking for information from the outside and you're getting it back to your browser, that information with a response and then present it in the browser. That's all it is. It's freaking simple. We just need to make our service available so people can ask us for data and then it can take that data and present it in their browser and on their phone, um, wherever they want, right? They can present it in an Angular app. That's what we're going to do. They can present it on a phone, whatever they want to do, right? They could even present it inside an application, inside a desktop application if that was what they wanted. As long as they've had internet access, they can do this. We're going to use the JSON as our data transfer. So whenever you send data back and forth, we'll convert it into JSON and back into objects. JSON, objects, and JSON is simple. It's just text, it's nothing else. I'll show you what JSON is, I will. The last thing I want to spend time on is actually showing you guys, that's where we will begin. We're going to update the framework because you might see this videos where the framework has been updated a few times. So I'm going to show you how to get from 1.1 to 2.0. That's the first step, the core framework. Then we're going to jump into actually expanding our model, etc., etc. So we're just going to have some fun. See you in the first lesson where we'll start changing the version from 1.1 to 1.2, uh, 2.0. Have fun.